Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage and I'm back with another video. This time it's a haul video and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome and I hope you like this content. Please like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification next to the subscribe button and you'll get updates on any new videos that come out. But uh, my wife and I went to a couple garage sales this weekend and found a few things, not very many, but a few, um, some really nice things. And then um, my wife was at her parents' house helping do some more sorting and found some other stuff, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so the first garage sale we went to, I found this fabulous lamp. We'll see if we can get it all in the video. It's obviously a mid-century lamp. It's got two planters on each side. It works great. Um, and it's got a fabulous original shade on it. It's not an expensive lamp, the, but it's just cool looking. This metal center post, the coating is faded and kind of worn off. It's not going to polish up very well, but I just like the looks of it. It could easily be spray painted to make it look better if you want to do that. But anyway, so that was a great find. I bought that for $10, which is more than I usually pay for stuff, but I just thought it was worth it and uh, like the looks of it. And then at another sale, I found another spoon. Sure enough, this one is a Sheffield Ingle England spoon. Um, silver plate, and it's hard to see on here, but got a little Christmas tree on the end of it. So that's pretty cool. So I'll polish that up and uh, that'll be great. The other thing I found was this pepper grinder. This is a brass pepper grinder. Still got peppercorns in it, you can hear them. And uh, this is probably made in Turkey. Um, there's a lot of these brass style. It's got kind of an Arabic style writing on the bottom and some incising on it, engraving. And, and then the top is fairly ornate. But I just really liked it. Um, it needs some good cleaning and polishing. And it'll look great. Um, there's another exact same one on eBay right now. Or that's sold on eBay for $35. So I paid a dollar for that. A dollar for the spoon too, by the way. Um, so those are our finds. Again, not anything too elaborate or exciting. But some just some good stuff. And it was fun just to get out and do some shopping. But then my wife, when she was at her parents' house, found buttons. Lots more buttons at her mom's place. So these are just the plain, more plain plastic buttons. It took time to sort all of these out. Look at there's a little piece button. Um, and these are all modern. They're not antique buttons in this lot. But there's just some cool looking ones. And then I sorted out the metal buttons. Um... So these are some of the metal buttons. That one's kind of cool. There's all different sizes and shapes. That one's got a little jewel on it. Um, one like that. There's one like that. There's different types of clasps as well, decorative. Again, none of these are old. They're all fairly new. I like that one. Got a gold trim on it. Um, so yeah, and a lot of them are sets, so there's multiples of one style or the other. So, fun for craft projects or even using on different, um, garments, if you will. And then there's an, another set of more decorative ones that are flowers. Or, like, here's a little sand bucket with some shells on it. Dragonfly. There's another dragonfly. Butterfly. So just a lot of another flower. A lot of variety of different kinds of buttons. Another enameled flower. Watermelon. A lot of these, these are just the one-offs. There's only one in each. Um, so again, for crafting, these would be great for that. 
Then there's another set. And these are the really crazy ones, very ornate buttons. And these would be for like the top of connecting a sweater. Or, and if you really want to go over the top, I mean, think of the buttonhole size you'd need to have that. Yeah, it wouldn't work. Um, then there's some shell buttons. These are actually made out of like um, shells. And then they're decorated on the outside. And there's some footballs buttons. Those will be fun on a coat. It's more fairly elaborate designs. There's a jeweled one. These are kind of cool. I don't, yeah, it does show up. It's got a design on the inside. It's a plastic button, but it's got a very smooth backside. There's several of those with different designs on them. None of them are the same design or color. But it's kind of cool. I really like this one too. Just a fun little ornate button. It'd be fun for like putting on different like purses for class or bags that you're making. So yeah, just a Crazy variety, little kitty face. There's another one similar to that larger one that's smaller and blue. <clears throat> so, and I'm pretty sure she found these all at the garage sale. <clears throat> Excuse me, because uh, they were all still in plastic bags with prices marked on them. Um, and uh, so, yeah, but just a crazy crazy amount of buttons here's some more of those mother of pearl buttons um there's the back side so these are actual shell buttons that they made some of them are engraved with different designs which is really cool here's another crazy one so and then there were these big pins you know, again, for like fastening the garment together with. And then there's just this decorative pair of scissors. So I think these were more, you know, a lot of these could be used for crafts and different things. So, oh, there's a baseball. So it's a fun lot. What am I going to do with them? I have no idea. Um, but I keep thinking, oh, there's got to be a fun project I can do with these. Um, I saw a uh, idea somebody had I, it was a, for sale it's a quilt that somebody covered with buttons um after it was completed then they just stitched you know, hundreds of buttons across the top of it so it was kind of like a button quilt which was kind of cool so really there's a lot of different things you can do with buttons is you know crafting use them for garments use them for playthings probably even <laughs> But yeah, I just thought what a fun, fun haul. These are all the metal buttons. And uh, so yeah, so now I got even more buttons. Thanks to my mother-in-law. Thanks, Ma. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And uh, it's a short video, but a fun little haul. And starting Monday, hopefully, a lot more stores and estate sales this week that are coming up, at least that are listed. So I think they'll be happening as well. So hopefully next week we'll have some good haul videos. Catch you later. Thanks. Bye.